what I've learned being my own casting director. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwall with Get Taped here in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services, which I co-own with my beautiful wife, Brooke. Oh, oh, normally you're just an image on the screen. What about this image? It's great. Yeah. Uh, now on to our topic. What we've learned being our own casting directors. Matt's talked a lot on this channel about the actor's point of view on auditioning, and we've tried to give you some insight on what we've learned on occasion from casting directors here in the Southeast. However, nothing drives these points home more for us than when we're casting our own projects. Now, when we were shooting our quarantine sketch comedy show in 2020, link in the show notes below, casting was easy for obvious reasons. But when we've cast other projects, like our three seasons of Becky and Barry, the series, also in the show notes below, there were a lot of roles to fill. In fact, we ended up casting over 100 actors over the course of those three seasons, which is a pretty awesome feeling. And we are now, as of today, starting the casting process for a new passion project. And it's given us some great reminders about what happens on this side of the table and how tough it is to actually cast a project. And we'd like to share some of that insight with you right now. Did you say meow? Mm, yeah, I did. Right now. Relationships. One of the biggest lessons overall is that this is a relationship business. And since we interact with actors every day for over 10 years now, we have a lot of relationships. What does that mean for casting? Well, since we're also producers, which means we can make the ultimate decisions, it means some of the roles we cast without auditioning actors. What? How? That's not fair. Well, think of it like this. If I've known an actor for years and I've seen them audition for everything under the sun, then presumably I know what they are good at, so we don't need to read them. In fact, for a couple of roles, we wrote with specific actors already in mind. The lesson here is you never know what relationship will bear fruit down the line. None of these actors came in to get taped over the years thinking they were actually auditioning for our future projects. But essentially, that's what you're doing every time you audition. For anyone who is watching your audition tape, you're making an impression that might result in an audition or a direct booking weeks, months, or even years down the line. We don't say this to make you stress out, but hopefully it inspires you to always put forth your best work. What is... Oh, yeah, that's actually a good quote. Can't, they can't see me though. Attitude. And this brings up another broad point. Attitude. Now, there are a thousand reasons why you won't get cast and 999 of those have nothing to do with talent. One of those is attitude. As Matt and I toss around names for actors to fill certain roles, the discussion looks a little bit like this. Oh, mm -hmm. I love working with them. Yep. We just need to write something for them. Yep. They're so perfect. And Definitely. they can handle anything. Yep. Oh, huh. hmm. interesting. It's an interesting choice. Yeah. Not sure if they fit, but I definitely would want to at least give them a shot at it because I do like them. Yep. Maybe. That's a maybe. Maybe. Oh, gosh. I wish. Because perfect for the role. Mm -hmm. They have such a great look, but their attitude on set, I just, I might be a liability. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you see, who you are between cut and action can sometimes be more important than who you are while cameras are rolling. If I'm going to pour blood, sweat, tears, and a whole lot of my own money, well, our money, into a project, then I want to surround myself with people who have great attitudes. Numerous times we've chosen the actor who doesn't have the longest resume or even the best acting chops, but we do know that they are a lot of fun to work with and they will bring to set a spirit of collaboration. No small roles. There are no small roles. Believe me, with our limited budget, every dollar counts. So every role, whether it's two lines or 10 pages, is important. If that two line role wasn't crucial to the story, we'd cut it to save money. With that in mind, we're not going to put in any less consideration when casting that specific role. We need every role to be filled with an actor that can knock it out of the park. And yes, sometimes that means the actor we cast is overqualified for the role. But those are the times that if the character doesn't die, we are chomping at the bit to bring that actor back for future episodes or in another project. Which brings us to a final point. 
Brooke and I, like legitimate casting directors, are fans of so many actors. We can easily name over 100 actors in our local market right now that we are excited to work with on this project. However, with only a half a dozen roles to fill in each episode, we'll never be able to work with all those actors unless a streaming service dumps a truckload of money into our laps and allows us to shoot six seasons in a movie and maintain creative control. The takeaway from this point is that if you're getting called in again and again for the same show or for the same casting office, they are a fan. And while they might not be able to get you onto this episode, they will be super excited on that day they're finally able to send you a deal memo. So hang in there. And if you ever get a chance to produce your own project, don't. It's super stressful. Just kidding. No, not about the stress. Do it if you can, because it is so fulfilling. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on set. Good job. Thanks. I learned it from watching you.